Okay, well here are the stairs. All right, great. And I think they're just begging for a railing. I have two kids. They come barreling out the door. I'm afraid one of them is going to take a header off the edge. And also, I cook on the grill there. Okay. And I have a big plate of burgers and dogs. I open the door. I feel like I'm going to take a header. Yeah, kind of looks like it. I get you. Uh, anyway, so you're 20, 21 inches off the patio here. Uh, code requirement is 30 inches. Okay. But as we always say in the business, safety first. So I kind of agree that you need a railing here. Um, but as I was poking around, See this patch right I here? I see that. Yeah, I don't think this step went exactly this way. I think they kind of fed you out that way. Oh, okay. But as you wrap yourself around, look at that paint right there. I see it. Again, that indicates to me that that's where the tread was facing. So again, more evidence in that post was wrapping this way, coming down this way, and feeding you out to the patio that way, which was probably safer at the time. Well, you know what? This was like this when we bought the house, but that makes sense to me. Right. So I agree you need a rail. Let's go get you one. All right, let's do All it. All right, Mike. Okay, so here's the rail I picked up from a local welder. It's custom made, so made to fit. It looks nice. You know, sometimes I see railings like this and I'll grab onto it and it'll feel kind of flimsy. Right, well that's why we went to a local welder. Um, just take a look at this steel. You can see how thick and beefy that is. Oh, I see that, definitely yeah. substantial. Right, well if you take them off the shelf, you're gonna find that these posts are hollow. They're gonna rust a lot easier, gonna become flimsy quicker, but not our case here, that's why we bought it from the welder. All right, Mike, so the first thing we want to do is take some measurements. Okay. I want to be about four inches off this back wall, so if you drive me back a little bit, that'll be great. Keep coming. Right there is good. Okay. Now, from the edge of the tread, I want to be about four as well, so if you hit me with that, great. Now let's do the same thing over here. Bring me right in, great. Let me take my pencil, and I'm going to outline the post. All right, let me just do the back one. All right, let's get the drill and get going. All right. All right, Mike. This scrap piece of bluestone is going to act as a template to keep the drill aligned. Since a regular drill would bounce around and possibly ruin the granite, I'm going to use a coring drill. Once we get the hole started, we can remove the bluestone and get down to our depth. The coring drill leaves a plug behind, but I'll use a regular drill to clean it out. Alright, so let's make sure these rails fit nice and tight. Alright, great. Mine are in. That fits great. Mine looks good too. Right, okay. So, as you remember, the post is probably the most important thing in the job that we're doing. The other main component is going to be how we fill these holes. We're going to use anchoring cement, which is a type of hydraulic cement, except it's much stronger. It actually sets up in about 10 minutes, so we're going to work nice and quick and do one hole at a time. We're going to want to get a sponge on this other stuff soon as well. It looks like it started out frap and now it's peanut butter. It, exactly, you got it. That's great. Okay, Mike, can you pick me up a little? And I'm going to shim you. All right, so we've given it about a half hour and it's set up pretty well. You can just touch it and you know that it's set up. But one of the issues that we have, granite, steel, concrete block that's under the granite, all kind of moving at different rates. So what we're gonna do right now is actually install uh, a shock absorber, which is just caulking. 
but it's going to allow for everything to move at different times and it's not going to crack. So essentially, we're going to waterproof the set of, the set of stairs and we'll be good to go. All right, what do you think? Looks great, looks like it's been here for years. All right, do me one favor, just keep the brick in place for another two or three days. Uh, keep the boys off it a little bit, let it, let it cure, but other than that, you'll be ready to go. Great, Mark, I really appreciate you coming All out. All right, my pleasure. Well, that's a nice fix, Mark, looks good. So if you go custom, did you consider um, going across the platform and then down the stairs as well? Add a little extra steel? We did, but uh, it gets pretty expensive as you make that turn down. Mm -hmm. So again, to be cost effective, we decided platform is all we needed. So okay. that's what we did. So ask, ask me this. Well, why are these things always so flimsy? It seems like every one of these metal railings that I grab, the thing is ready to go. I mean, right. not this one, but most of them. Yeah. Well, most of them are, again, that, that hollow metal that we've been talking about. Uh, but most importantly, I think it's the topical application that those railings are installed with. To topical meaning what? Uh, the rail sits right on the stone, blue stone, granite, whatever it is, and then it's a bolt application. Right. So which, instead of sort of setting it in cement, you're actually relying on well, you know, a two or three inch bolt that's three eighths of an inch. That's not the good application. No. Again, you saw what we did. We actually went through the stone into the step itself. Yeah. And you used, I think you called it anchoring cement? Correct. How does that differ from hydraulic cement, which is what I'm sort of familiar to hearing? So hydraulic cement is usually a patch, say for a water leak. Hydraulic would expand, mm -hmm. so clog uh, more of the hole up. The anchoring cement, you can see, has more of a flow to it. It's a bit of a self-leveling uh, material and it just happens to work great with yeah. that application. So Well, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere, even with these two boys crawling all over it. Yeah, right, right. right. Exactly. Nice fix, thank you. All right, you got it.